And I ain't even gonna lie to none of y'all. I ain't here to play no games or tell no stories. They saying that Russell Simmons and Usher make a pretty good looking couple, man. And I know that sounds zesty. And that's the reason why Diddy is allegedly jealous because this man posted up in Miley with some hoochie daddy pants on oh my with Russell Simmons like that's his new sugar daddy or something. And the thing about it is this, the only reason why Russell over there in the first place, let's be real, is because he on the run. Oh my he over there in Bali, so they want all Kelly his behind, man. Look at this. Russell Simmons post suspect pick of him and Russell and Usher out there in Bali, man. Stay off them drugs. Man, ain't nobody on no drugs. Y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification button as well, man, because they talking about Usher real bad. They said he gave up the yams, the mashed potatoes, the greens, and the gravy to Russell Simmons, man. Y'all need to let me know if y'all think that's true. And for the people leaving them comments in the comment section, let me show y'all some love real quick. Then we're going to get into the real presentation, man. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and do this, man. Set that thing up. Ken Gold in the building. Sean Pimpin, what it do, Pimpin? We got Sherry Hand, Lady K, Will Jones, Young Joker, Renee Smith. She a member. And you know she holding it down with me, man. We got uh, Troy, 1973. He kicking it. Let's go on and get back into the show. All right, here we go. I'm about to share some things with y'all. And a lot of people ain't going to like him. But the question is... Is Usher becoming a widow? Just like all them people he always be around. He been around Russell Simmons and his wife look very, very uncomfortable. He got this woman draped all over him, but he made sure that he get a seat sitting right next to Usher and she feel uncomfortable about the whole ordeal. She ain't smiling. She don't look like she pleased with the fact that Usher is spending time with this man right here. Like I said, they say they look, shit, that might be her son for all we know. Either way, even if they was a couple allegedly, people saying that they match. Hold on, y'all. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness. This man know he need to put a bra and some drawers on him. And Russell Simmons nasty ass. He know he's zooming in on that man bosom. He wear a double D small. The hell going on up in there? Got rose petals and shit like he the king of Zamunda up in there. Oh my goodness. He took him over to Bali. Where they can't get caught doing a damn thing. Uncle Usher. When I was at the lowest point in my life. I woke up and this man was sitting by my bed. Wait a minute, hold on now. He did what now? Wait a minute. Oh my goodness. He said, when I was at the lowest point of my life, at Diddy's camp, the flavor camp, he said, I woke up and this man was sitting by my bed. I had known Usher since he was a kid, but we really bonded because of our mutual love for self-discovery. Self-discovery. Oh like your male genitals. Or maybe his big ass titties. Oh what the hell he mean by self-discovery? Somebody need to call in here and let me know. Because I know y'all love Usher. But it's a possibility. He a weirdo. Just like everybody he be around, man. Y'all need to think about this. Usher got a residency. Where women from all over the world, married women, engaged women, he breaking up happy homes and shit. Got women on stage squeezing all on their cookies. Got them women having orgasms in the middle of the stage. And then he got the nerve to be somewhere with Bali, with Russell Simmons with his legs kicked up. Oh my goodness. Stay off them drugs. Man, ain't nobody on no drugs. Oh my goodness. I'm just over here shot that this man was by his side he been 
he been ever since he was a little kid he been in the bed with this man said he wake up in the morning horny little usher sitting by the bed looking like motherfucking um not gary coleman what's the other one emmanuel lewis sitting by the bed with an r kelly t-shirt on said i had known usher since he was a kid said i will wake up and this man be sitting by my bed waiting like i'm here I had known Usher since he was a kid, but we really bonded because of our mutual love for self-discovery. Like, I didn't know I had these. They're called your testicles, young man. Said, and our belief in, in yogic science as a direct route to realize God's consciousness in ourselves. People remember to remember this. A friend walks in when others walk out. What the fuck? Hold on now. So when the business meeting over, that's when Usher come in there and your ass closed the door. Like, all right, that's it. We talked about it. Def Jam Records, everybody. Time to go. When everybody getting their shit and walking out, Usher coming in the door. Like, all right, see you in the morning. They lock everybody else out. And Lord knows what they doing in there, man. He said, look at this. People, remember to remember this. A friend walks in when others walk out. I will never forget the generosity of spirit I witnessed in this man. God bless you, baby bro. Usher, love you. I will never forget the generosity of spirit I witnessed in this man. While he was waiting by the bed, what he want? What the hell he sitting by the bed like a damn dog waiting for what? Did Diddy tell him to sit by the bed? Like if you want some money, that's the nigga you need to go see. I ain't got nothing for you, little ass. You better get out there and make it work told you if you ain't trying to be no gigolo this ain't the business for you now find you a baller fast because i ain't got the money did he put his ass on early like look i got clyde davis who you got because you damn sure ain't got me playboy i ain't gonna give you a nickel your ass need to go out there and holler at quincy jones see if you can finagle some money out of his ass he definitely spending. Look, I had to do what I had to do. You know how the game go. You find your ass when these old ass, horny ass, oh freaky ass niggas like I did. And make that man happy. Now that's the only advice I could really give you, young man. Hold on, y'all. Look at this. This man. He got his man. Oh my He's gonna be straight for life. Like I ain't gotta do nothing. I got Mr. Davis. Long as he keeps that's his dude. Dude, he got him somebody. Shit, Jermaine. Look, look how them boys zested. Them boys greased up Jerry Curl. Look how zested they was. Got Titty Me hanging out out there with Clyde back in the day, man. He hold on. You married twice? Y'all there with Jermaine, Jackson, Tito, all them niggas that was ready for Clyde. The whole zested 80s era. Shit, Whitney Houston, everybody. He can, shit. He own black entertainment, especially R&B. Own they ass. Shit, Diddy like, shit, I'm a, I got my guy. Better go out there and find you somebody, Usher. Now he out there with Russell Simmons. He just looks so damn friendly. Friendly, friend, friendly as hell. A friendly motherfucker, man, that was sitting by his bedside. He will never forget the generosity of spirit. Lord have mercy, man. And it get worse than that. Y'all need to see, I don't like no shit like this. This shit. 
They need to cut this. What the hell? Oh my and ain't nothing wrong with the picture book. Russell Simmons' face right there. Look what look how he looking. He look like a damn weirdo. He peeking. Man, somebody get him out the damn picture. They all look whacked out over there in Bali. They look sweaty. They hot. They ain't got no AC. He over there being weird. They need to send the National Guards over there to get his ass. Gonna leave the country so he won't get R. Kelly. And then Usher over there kicking it with that muddy water. Look at that water. Russell asks people to remember a friend walks in when others walk out. Shit, yeah, I would have walked the hell up out of there too. Usher, he ain't go nowhere, man. Russell lived in Bali since 2017 and he has been slammed with multiple sexual misconduct lawsuits and allegations, which he says has caused him great suffering, man. This nigga on the run. Oh my goodness. He on the run, y'all. He got motorbikes just in case he got a jet on some Grand Theft Auto shit. Like, I know how to get away from the cops. Just run through the sewer. You know, throw a couple of rats. You pick up the rat, throw it at the cops. I know this town like the back of my hand. Got an underground dugout, they'll never find me. He is not trying to go to jail. If America come to get him, they got to deal with the body. Oh Look, they put some rice. Usher ain't finished his food. They put that rice right on his forehead. Bad boy. We don't waste a drop. He at the restaurant. He waiting for them to bring back the check. They come back with that little bit of rice on that plate. Put it dead on his damn forehead. You disrespect the chef. It's all right. It's okay. I, I, I wear my shame. I will wear my shame. Russell has denied ever sexually assaulting anybody. Anybody. And despite those problems, they don't seem to be affecting his relationship. With Usher. Usher don't give a damn. Because Usher was that same little boy. Oh that was sitting by his bedside. When he was at the lowest point in his life on drugs, dope, coke, you name it. When he was going through it. Usher, he remember Usher was there. He was right there sitting by the bed. Like Diddy told me, if you need anything, I mean anything. I mean, who yeah, who yeah. If you need anything, I'm right here, Mister Mister Um, Mister Simmons. Oh, oh, oh. Like the kid, he never says no. He never. It's just always yeah. That should be a song for him. Somebody, somebody, give me a pen and a pad. A song for him because I remember his generosity. He never did the kid, he never said no, never. It was always, yeah. Those are the prettiest smiles I ever seen a man make. Look how they smiling. Like they taking their first grade picture. Like he on his best behavior. He's smiling like he's been a good boy all year, sitting on Santa's lap. What the hell they up to? Matter of fact, y'all need to see some of this stuff. Because y'all got to answer this question too, man. Is Usher a creepy person? Look at that Walter. The prostitution Walters. Soon as you get done doing what you're doing, you get your ass up in them springs. They won't let you be a prostitute without washing your ass. I get in the spring. Look at that water. Got booty toxins all in it. And Russell, and no disrespect to Bali, but y'all ain't looking too good with Russell Simmons over there. And he being sneaky and creepy. Look at his ass in that picture, y'all. Look at him.
He looked like the damn devil in that damn picture, man. Hello, hello. Who this is here? This is Lady D. How are you? Oh, man. We got Lady D on the phone, everybody. I'm so pleasantly pleased. Whatever you got to say, we all is, baby. <laughs> it's been a minute since I caught you live. I'm glad I caught you tonight. Oh, man, yeah. It's always a good time to catch me live because I'm in the mood to talk to you and I want to hear you spill it. Whatever's on your mind, we listening hard. I'm just thinking this stuff is crazy. Like, what is going on? I just don't know, man. I'm trying to figure it out myself. Every time you see Usher, he in the midst or he in the middle, or he on Epstein yeah. Island somewhere with Russell Simmons. Ain't no telling what they doing over there. And the thing about it, just like you just pointed out, it's like, these guys are smiling like, you know, wow, we are so happy. You know, and there are no women around. It's just men. So what y'all so smiley, smiley, and touchy, telly, naked and everything, half naked yeah. and all this? What is this? They like to stretch. Look at this. And loosen up, and everybody let out a loud fall, and let it breathe, let it out. That's what they like. They like pooting around and taking it easy. This is just, this is just too much. This is too much. I didn't even know he had any connection with uh, Usher, Russell Simmons. Yeah. You know, it's just like this thing just gets deeper and deeper and deeper. Mm -hmm. The more the layers come unfolded, it's like. What's this? Why is this kid in this picture? Th that's what I what don't are they like. Doing with the child? That's what I don't like. This is crazy. I don't like that. Oh no, they need to be in jail. I'm sorry. They can't. That's why he over in Bali. Oh my goodness. This is this is too much. This is too much. I'm just left kind of speechless right now. You know, because it's, I mm -hmm. had no idea. He was even. What did we what the premise? Yeah, they be over there bent the fuck over. Oh I mean, yeah, bent. Yeah, I'm telling you, right? Legs bent out, on booty, the whole nine foot. booty up. He looking down at his booty. He scratching so damn hard he could see his whole booty. Right. And what was man? He put his legs behind his head and looked down at his gooch. Oh my what the heck? Yo. Like, that's some serious flexibility, right? Bend that ass over the next week. He do For a full man, split. That's so yeah, man, he do a split and lay there and take a nap. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad. Where's your pride as a man? That's what I'm saying because no man should be able to just you know put it up like that. I'm sorry. A limb ass. Look at that. I see it. Yeah, he rolls on it up like a freaking. So, he like oh, a spring chicken. Man, what the heck? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He'll get down, bust that ass. Look how he bust that ass over with that man. Oh, no, that's too much limberism. He bust that ass. <laughs> Look how he's he sitting up there. They doing donkey, donkey frog. The donkey frog. Uh-uh. I don't even know if you know that for you. I mean, that, that's seriously. Oh, my God. That's really flexible. And he's like older and he's just flexible. He's just not man. giving up. He touching his toes while the other man touching his back. But well, they all over I'm each other. You. My goodness, dude. What do you have left? Oh, my goodness. He's going to need a pamper. That's that yoga <laughs> life. Show motherfucker oh how, how how you can bend your, your flexibility. People start getting weird ideas and stuff. That's weird. Because that's just not normal. You know, for a guy, you know... No, it's not. You know, you know what it is. He too quick to lay on his back and throw his legs up. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> you know what it is, man. When these brothers get older, they be looking for a cloak to be under. You see his brother, Reverend Run, he a uh, he a Catholic priest. You, you got to have a cloak. Right. If you're mm -hmm. trying to stay out of trouble, shit. He under the cloak of Buddhism, so he the most peacefulest brother you ever see. He wouldn't hurt nobody. I I don't talk crazy. I'm in I'm in the, in my inner yeah. peace. That's his damn cloak. Mm -hmm. Diddy, if mm -hmm. Diddy was smart, yeah. he would have found like himself that. a cloak. Mm -mm. It's not gonna work because it's too much evidence in your past, dude. You can run to that and think that's going to save you now, but it's not because 
everything is coming out. I mean, with too many pictures, too many documentations, too much supporting, you know, evidence to just deny it. You can't. Man. Oh, this is so sad. This is sad. Russell Simmons is an Asian American, whether you like it or not, man. He ain't even black no more at this point. He he moved in Bali. He do yoga. He basically an Asian man. Ain't no way they're going to be able to persecute him. He, he under the cloak of a whole nother identity. They can't get to him no more. Yeah, he is under cloak pretty much of a whole nother identity. But, you know, we never know what those powers would be, what they can do, because they got a lot of power. And they can make some things happen. When they want to crush you, they can crush you. Look, them Buddhists you know? get together. They could shut down any damn thing. You get about 10 praying monks, the government just going to have to go back home. <laughs> Real talk, man. He he good that's, to go. And Usher over there. How you Do you feel like Usher becoming a creep for even being with these people? Man. Mm. It's just. I don't know what to say. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to say. At a loss for words. And then I heard that Diddy was over there too. Yeah. Like it's Epstein Island. You know, yeah, you know? This is just sad for our black and brown brothers. This is so good. I just don't get it, man. <laughs> Hopefully good. one day we'll figure it out as a people. But one thing for sure, I want to let you know I appreciate your phone call. Even though it sounds like you over there scratching a cardboard box and everything. It's all good. We love you to death, sister. I don't know what's wrong with your phone, but I love your conversation. But I can't stand that phone. So the next time you call, hopefully you figure that out, man. You want to open up all that ice cream when you call up here. You want to put up the groceries and stuff when I'm on the phone. But either way, I appreciate your phone call. And don't be no stranger, baby. You can call back whenever you feel like it. Real talk. Oh, oh have mercy. Why she got to play games like that? She over there opening up all them Amazon boxes. She want to wait till she get on the phone and open up her Christmas presents. Oh Some shit's been sitting there for a, a quarter of a year. Now she want to pick them things up and start unwrapping them things, man. I'm trying to give a five-star presentation. Hold on. Y'all need to see that. Look at that picture right there. Look, look at that. Look, look. Paul Mooney in the middle. Look, look, look. Oh, my goodness. They don't resurrected Paul Mooney just to get the picture. And they all look related. And you can tell by the way he got his shirt undone, man. That's one of Russell's homies. Oh, my goodness. A whole me. Like, I love Russell. I love his friends. Oh, sure. You're my friend, too. Oh, my like, yeah. Like, I think the kid's retarded. Usher made it this far with special needs and ain't nobody even know it. Oh, my he might be plum retarded. I don't remember him graduating from school. He went to Showtime at the Apollo at six years old and ain't never looked back. Shit, he probably worse than Ray Charles or Fantasia or some shit. Put Usher in the spelling bee and let's see how he do. He probably walk out on day one. Nigga finally say no. Look at this. Like Usher, can you read the alpha? He like, no, 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 no. It could look like a brother that's illiterate. As soon as you put a book in front of his ass, that's when he starts sweating. Like, are you serious? Like, yeah. Cat in the hat, nigga. Read it. But that's Negro here nor there. Look, I'm about to answer the question since don't nobody want to call the answer. I'm going to just answer the question and go on and get out of here, man. Because that ain't right. That's a good question right there. And that's something that black folks need to be talking about because how can you give Usher a pass in all this not that long ago he had allegations about him too oh biggie biggies she sued his ass he a freak he went cheesy on the booty in the hotel broke the, the bed snap and he kept on going 
they had to bring in the National Guards just to pull him off her back, allegedly. He was in there beasting on the booty. Her big ass didn't even know where she put her shoes. Look at her feet. Usher had her discombobulated. She don't even know where she put her fluffy slippers at. And she's still trying to hold it together. She might as well just let it loose. That boy Usher here, wow, now he over there in Bali. He, oh, no. Nah. Y'all know he like variety. Just like Diddy said. Diddy said he like variety. It don't even matter. Tall, fat, ugly, old, young, slim, skinny, mustache, beard, shaved. Hello, hello. Who this is here? Hey, Sean. This is Harriet. Oh, man. We got Harriet on the phone. That's such a lovely, noble name. I'm so glad you called up in here, sister. What's on your mind tonight? Are you doing the um, video about Usher? Yeah. yeah. What's going on, man? We over here talking about Usher and Russell Simmons. It's looking like he went over there and gave up them yams to Russell Simmons, man. They butt naked in the hotel mm -hmm. room somewhere. Mm. No, I feel like Usher, um, he's he's like a, a sex symbol, you know? He's like the American sex symbol. If you listen to his uh, songs and stuff, all he talks about is, you know, sex and being a sex, sex symbol. So I feel like he is, like, he's doing his job as being the sex symbol, like an American sex symbol, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. What do you think about that? I feel like he doing what they paying him to do. But at mm -hmm. the same time, the men that put him in position, they got some funny, freaky, deaky ways about them. I'm talking about yeah. Babyface, L.A. Reed. They come up under Baby Prince, Face. Morris Day in the Time, uh, Jimmy Jam and Tara Lewis. They come up from that era. So if you trying to have some skin in the game and you got to go through brothers like that, shit, you better be... All of Elder Balls, Chico, the ball, you better yeah. fall into that mold. All of them were uh, like sex symbols, though. All they talked about was sex and, and oh, I'm going to get this and baby, baby, baby and come to me and all that. And so I just feel like he's the American sex symbol for the, the black race. But even not even the black race, just like for women, men, he's just like a sex symbol now. You know, just listen to his songs that he used to, like he sings and all of that. And I'm a fan. I, I like him. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like he's a, he's, he's become a sex symbol. Like Man. they created him as being this, to become the sex symbol. But in he's order, making a lot of money off of it too. Just like Jabbar did. Just like Babyface did. All of them. Yeah, man. But it's a certain formula that you have to follow. They've been following this same formula since the 80s, man. The yeah. more zesty you are, the more flamboyant you are, the more chicks you gonna get, man. And they've been doing that with Prince, Michael Jackson, all them groups in the 80s. They was all zesty as hell, getting all the women. <laughs> and they get them when they're young, you see that? They mold them into who they want, and like into who they want them to become. And then they like send them out there and the the women and men or whatever, they speed them up and they love it. I mean, look at how he dances and everything. You can tell Usher is a sex symbol. It's all about sex. All about sex. And not I'm not talking about love, this and that. I'm talking about sex, for real. That's what Usher oozes out. That's what I see when I see him, a sex symbol. Yeah, most definitely, you know. Everybody know that Usher, he have his way with the ladies. That's what he known for. Yeah. That's why they got the residency down there. But while he being the sex symbol, he still find time to go to Bali to be all up on Russell Simmons. Explain that part to me. They go to Bali and all that to go and, I guess, do all kinds of stuff over there. I heard a lot about that, but I'm, I don't know too much about that. But yeah, um, mm. he he he's a sex symbol. That's that's how I see him. 
Yes, indeed, like man. D'Angelo, oh, D'Angelo, yeah. boy. Well, he used to. She ain't say not one time that I was a sex symbol, and I be trying hard. What? Cause I don't wear lip gloss, and I don't take zesty ass pictures with Russell Simmons. That make Usher better than me. That's fine. I wouldn't want to be no sex symbol. Cause if I was, that mean I'd be so zesty that everybody would be trying to give me some, man. What in the hell? Who in the hell put her ass in the microwave? Oh my they put her ass on 30. Is that TDJ? Oh, that's Bobby Brown. Oh, oh that was TDJ. Hold on, it's some more stuff we gotta get into. Reggie, go and pull that up. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, play that. Look at this, y'all. Look, who the hell? See, I don't like this shit. What the hell going on? What the type of shit is this? Oh my goodness. That's why his ass need to be in America, man. They need better supervision. The old ass in there like he the Dalai Lama. Damn, they got cheeks busting all over the place. That's why he wanted to be over there. They got some lime juice with them green ass cups that probably ain't never been clean. Look at this, y'all. Shit, every five seconds, somebody bend that ass over. Every five seconds. Soon as you go to Bali, somebody gonna touch them motherfucking toe. Oh my goodness. It might even be at the airport. Ass, get off the plane, everybody get to dropping that ass. You be like, where the hell am I? He the main one bent over. Like, yeah, I'm here for it. Yeah. Bent over all day. That's why I do it. It's my religion to bend. That's why I like to bend flex. You know, I'm a flexible guy. But watch me do this. Look, look. Look at this, Asha. I put my leg behind my head and you know, look down at my sack. Didn't think I can do that at 70 years old. I can do plenty of things. Ain't nothing freaky about a man touching his ass with his lips. Oh my goodness. Touch them toe. Bust that thing open in front of Usher. Look at this, y'all. Oh, shit. I moved to New York City. And I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. <laughs> to learn Flavor some... Camp. Yeah, Flavor Camp. Yeah, that's camp. what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's gonna In the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, not really. Come I mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. You said it was curious over there. He got a chance to see some things. Like, ooh, sooky, sooky now. Some curious shit. He was a child. It sparked his interest. Don't they say curiosity kills the cat or some shit? Oh my Meow. He need to go back to Shay Shay. They ain't done talking. It's a whole lot more. They need to be unraveling. I'm going to have Usher on my show every day until we figure this out because people say things about me and I just don't understand why y'all think this way about me. So what my name Shay Shay. Usher, I need you to come back on the show ASAP because we got to figure this out together. <clears throat> oh, so my clothes are too tight like everybody else don't wear tight clothes. You got on tight jeans right now. Why my jeans got to be tighter than your jeans? Why I got to be Shay Shay? Hello, hello, who this is, man? Hello. Hey, what's going on? Who this be? This lady be calling you back. We got a one phone call minimum. You should know that by now. The nerve. Whatever you said the first time, that's all we needed to hear. But since you on the I phone just again. I to call back to tell you that, yes, you are a sex symbol. That's all I wanted to get oh, tonight, for, for, you, right? Oh, get damn. Damn, but that's how you feel? That's why I wanted to let oh, you know tonight. Man. That, you know what? Now you got me over here blushing and stuff. You don't messed up the whole show. Got me crying, looking crazy, man. You really mean that? <laughs> I mean it, yes. 
Oh shit! Sure. It's like that. Sure. Look, I'm about to give you my IG, social security number. I got Facebook, everything. I got on um, what's that? P O F. <laughs> I'm gonna give you all that stuff, man. You need to hit me up tonight. Matter of fact, this my number. Text this number. Matter of fact, where my keys at? Hey, sit your ass down. Man, where my keys? Cause <laughs> I need to go over there, man. She the one. Matter of fact, I want to thank you. Cause you made my whole damn night, man. I love you to death. Well, that's what I want to do. That's what I want oh, to do. Man. Make you know, life. a mission complete. And make sure you call back the next time we go live, baby. I got so much love for you. We're going to talk to you real soon. Yeah. Yes, you do. You got mm -hmm. my number. That's oh, what that. oh, Look, I'm about to call your ass back. And I appreciate you. Yeah. All right, I'm going to holler at you All later. Right, uh -huh. I it. Hey, man. Uh, and you ain't said nothing but a word. It ain't thing but a chick wing. I'm about to call right now. Number love, baby. Number love. Oh, now, you know what? Now you listening to Heavy D and everything, man. That's my type of party. I'm going to be over there with some hammer pants on in no time, baby. I love you to death. And I'm about <laughs> To call you right back. All right now, we gonna holla at you later, real talk. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy, man. Whoo, shit. Oh my god, with you? Look, man. If this nigga out in Bali, if being nasty wherever you at in America, you might as well get your freak on too. Oh my goodness. If Russell Simmons old ass getting it the way he like it, damn it. You should be doing the same thing too. Listen at this, y'all. Oh, that Mother Bali is a healing place. So this is the Snoop Dogg Villa. He was coming to visit me and then COVID hit and then I realized he was only gonna stay in my master bedroom. So I was like, oh shit. So I built this house. And this is what convinced me after- Hold on now, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. He said the only place Snoop Dogg was gonna sleep was in his master bedroom. Hello, hello, who this is here? This is Myron, um, AKA Gusto. Oh, what's going on, bro? We need you to cut that off in the background. We could barely even hear you. Okay, it's off. What's going on? Yeah, man, we hey, over what? here. What's up, bro? I'm just trying to understand, right? This is what I'm trying to get the understanding of. Um, he, P. Diddy, Fudge Packer, what they want to call him, Daddy Love, whatever they want to call him, right? That's what I'm saying. Is he get? It's like every time I turn around, they got something new that he's doing, and more celebrities are coming out. Is it just me, or it's like more and more of them coming out with him doing some accusations to kids and everything else? I know that. Grown up is one thing. He beat Cassidy. That was not right at all. But you got a bunch of kids he's been messing with for years. You talking about Diddy? Yeah. Allegedly. Diddy. We ain't know that. Allegedly. Okay, we, we'll go with allegedly. Okay, we'll go with that. Oh, you got because proof know or something? You know for a fact? You you got the, the scoop? Because let up. We ain't got the 411 like you got it. All I can do is say allegedly. You must know something we don't know. Brother, inform us. What, who your inside school? If, if, if the information is right in front of us, they're they, they going to say allegedly, but it's right in front of our face. Who would take a 13-year-old child into their home for a year and you're talking about where we're going to groom him into being in the industry you didn't even really record with this man. This man had to make you record. So what are you doing? And Diddy sat up there with, with Kevin Hart talking about we used to wrestle over the Frosted Flakes. He told on himself, Frosted Flakes can be y'all over there doing cocaine and drugs and everything else with this freaking child. Yeah, bro. They got it was very tape. bizarre. They got him on tape. <laughs> yeah, he they on got tape. Him on tape. They yeah. got him on tape with Kevin Hart. When Kevin Hart went live, he had a party. He talking about me and Usher used to wrestle over the Frosted Flakes. And Kevin Hart said, do you know what the fuck you just did? That's, Why didn't everybody move that one? Yeah, that's exactly what happened, bro. I can't argue with that. Them nothing but facts. Yeah, and then you turn around. Now, Jay-Z, they getting on Jay-Z head because he opened up the can of worms on Jay-Z. Jay-Z used to mess with Foxy Brown. I didn't even know in the video that she first came out with Biggie how old she was. She's 15, like 15, 14 to 15 on that video. Um, what was the name of the video? Um, 
She's on her, like, talking about this is my ain't man. No, we doing this. Ain't no um, nigga like the one I got. Yeah. They Yo. telling you, they've they been telling us all along what these dudes, creepy dudes, been doing. Mm-hmm. Aaliyah even got a song with, and I didn't know this. My fiance put me on this. I didn't even know R. Kelly got a song with Aaliyah from back when she was 14 years old called, uh, the remix to Your Body's Calling Me. Listen to it for yourself. I'm not bringing no actors. I'm telling you what's true in fact. Look it up for yourself. The song on her, she is telling you what this pedophile did to her. Damn, man. That's some cold shit. It's all cold, man. It's all crazy. So when you see Usher out there in Bali with Russell Simmons and it's all weird, what you think about that? Russell Simmons and Usher... We already know Usher, you know, we already know Russell Simmons been raping little girls since I don't know when. Because he had the model Kamara Simmons, or Kamara, he got what? She was like 15, like 14 or 15. Damn, I ain't when know that part. When she became a model. Damn, allegedly. All the models that's up under him, them are underage girls that's up under him. That's why he ran, because they was after him. They were going to come to him next. We're going to leave them alone. But they were coming to him next. Yeah, and man, he Usher, got the yeah, hell up out of did. town. They doing him just like they they doing Usher like they did Soldier Boy. They passed him around like a forty. They passed him around. Everybody get a turn. But you, I hear what you're saying. But even if that is the case, Usher forty something years old now. He a grown ass. He he got so much money. People can't tell him what to do. He can't do what he don't want to do no more. So you saying that he's so deep into the sauce that he want to be their friend? He can't help it because the simple fact is they got, you know, you got some things called MDAs and not even just that. He's so scared to be like, this would be found out. He'll be ruined too. That's what they get them to thinking. Like you will be ruined if they find out you were doing these acts. So Ucha just accepted it. Like, this is who I am. And I said, you know, he, he ended up liking it. You see what Orlando Brown did. Damn, man. He's talking about he in love with Diddy. <laughs> yeah, man. It's it's a crazy world because I would hate to think that they was, you know, doing Usher any types of wrong. But if this man... They did. And, that, and the thing that gets me is Usher mama talking about she's going to disown him. Well, you should have never sent your child to this man. Who does that? You sold your child to Diddy, basically. And we can go to L.A. Reed and all of them. You sold him your child to them just for, to get some money. That's what you did. And how you feel and about them? And I just want to why this to say something because he's thirteen. Now you just imagine. You got to think about it. Justin Bieber's like these kids got exposed to some stuff that'll probably freak a person out. The the normal kid would got freaked out. He probably scared out of his freaking mind now because he's like what he saw. You got to understand, men in there, it's like six of these men in there getting like on one dude smashing them. Now, I ain't talking about no little, you know. Come on, bro. How you know all this stuff? Let's be real. How you know? Because they telling because they telling this. You look into it, you'll see it. They, they, they telling you everything that, with the, yeah, yeah. P. Diddy said he want the, the, he don't want no small ones. He want the big ones. When Cassidy used to go get them, 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 um, them, um, sex workers, he tell her, no, I want the big ones. You better call them up. Next time yeah. we're gonna talk about tools and um, uh, you know, talk about some manly shit, some laying down some sheetrock, some drywall or something the next time because this getting out of hand. And I appreciate your phone call, brother. Don't be you say you to know that man preferences. You know if he like him big, small, long, short. You are very that's interested. You very interested in this subject. It. And that's why I appreciate you, you for calling. Too. I appreciate it because you inter- you more interested in the topic that I am. This needs to be your show. And I love you to death, bro. <laughs> Don't you be no stranger. And make sure you call back the next time we go live because you the realest of the realest, dog. You know what meat size that man like and everything. We thank you so much. Ooh. Don't be no stranger. And call back whenever you feel like it. Lord have mercy, I need to sit down. Nigga, don't fall! <laughs> I'ma fill out my damn chill. Oh my goodness. This man, he going on and on with the zesty. Oh, I see what y'all think this is, but that's what it ain't. We don't do that girly gossiping oh and spilling all that damn tea. This ain't the sugar show. That ain't what's happening, man. We grown ass men. 
poor Hennessy, hot Henny, all over your areolas. Them things gonna shrivel up like some fried bacon. We don't do that girly gossiping, man. This is for grown man talk. Grown men talking about them grown men's. They veneers is popping. They got them, them new news shits. He got his veneers straight off the damn poster at the dentist's office. Look at his shit. Them shits look like pearls. They be smiling at each other all day. Like, damn, we got some pretty ass teeth. Like, he's old, but his teeth is that beautiful. Oh my goodness. Like, yeah, I know I'm an old geezer until I show my smile and you see my, my million dollar teeth. That man, they, they venereoed his ass to death. Usher, too. Shit, you can't get mad at somebody when they got some pearly ass teeth. They get to smiling. Next thing you know, you be looking for your kids. Oh my goodness. Like them bright ass teeth, Shakoya, Shakoya, Shakoya. Your ass out there stuck. Jermaine, anybody see my baby Jermaine? Jermaine. Your ass don't lost sight of your child because of them bright ass teeth. Look, he shine his teeth real bright. He trying to trick. <laughs> he trying to pull that shit on the whole public. Said cheese. The camera reflection flashed back and broke the damn camera. Like, oh, she gonna be gone. It's show them pearly whites. They all showing their teeth like she's a gunner. Oh That's disgusting, man. Look like he got a little bit of. <laughs> he must ate a cheese sandwich or something. Look at his teeth. Damn, they must have photoshopped them other picture. Nigga ate a cheese sandwich and didn't even melt the cheese. He ate that shit hard. Nigga ate a Swiss. <laughs> A unsweat, a unmelted Swiss cheese sandwich, man. <laughs> and Usher got rice all on his forehead and body, man. Y'all need to let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. How long we been on here? Okay, we got 10 minutes. I'm waiting on one more phone call. If we get one, that's going to be amazing. If not, then I'm going to love it when y'all answer them questions in the comment section. Hold on, run that back real quick, cause he said he had Snoop Dogg living at his house. Run that back. Listen at this, y'all. <clears throat> so this is the Snoop Dogg villa. He was coming to visit me, and then COVID hit, and then I realized he was only gonna stay in my master bedroom. So I was like, oh shit. So I built this house. And this is what convinced me, after finishing this, to build a hotel. These little master suites are very similar to mine, except it's sideways, but you know, it, uh, I think Snoop wouldn't, wouldn't leave this place. And you manage his son? Oh, yeah, I manage Cordell, right? So Cordell stays there. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, my goodness. He said he managing Snoop Dogg's son, Cordell. And Snoop Dogg be staying over there. And he ain't going to sleep nowhere unless it's in his master bedroom. And he from the East Coast, cuz. Oh, Hold on, man. This is crazy, man. Y'all need to see this. Snoop. Oh. Son. Oh. There you go. There you go. That's the boy he managing. Snoop Dogg's son, Cordelli. He get butt ass naked and put on the damn dress. That's his look. Got a face full of makeup. He over there pouting. He being a sucker about it. Look at him. He over there mad. Russell making him. Look what he got on. Got a jerry curl blowout. Push to the back. He a manly, a manly man with his little sister dress on, man. Look at that. 
He trying to turn him into the next Kamora Lee Simmons. Snoop Dogg's son. Just as, as flagrant as he want to be, man. What in the hell going on here? Got a tattoo dead smack in the middle of his chest like I'm your bitch. What the hell going on here? Russell Simmons is managing this boy. I can manage you leaving with me. I can manage him, Snoop. Matter of fact, you go back home. You know, tell your wife I love your wife. Kiss your other kids. Cordell, you can stay with me. How about that? You know, you don't have to go, you don't have to go back. You got plenty of room here. You can stay. You know, Snoop, you can go do your tour. I'll take care of him. I'll take care of him. Don't worry. I'll how about I'll be his manager? Pay you big money. I'll just pay you to have him around. How about that, Snoopy? You know, he's a, he's a good kid. You know, I, I, I'm sure I could use him around here. He acting like he missed Mr. Miyagi. And Snoop Dogg's son is his damn pupil. Hold on, y'all. Shit, Usher probably bumped into him over there. Like, what's up, Usher? There they go. That's them. That's them boys. That's them boys. Uncle Russie. Uncle Russie. Got him over there. Managing his damn son, man. What what do what the hell do he do? He got an album coming out or some shit. How you gonna manage somebody that ain't even got no career? What he doing? Snoop Dogg's son Cordell brought his a web three and crypto entrepreneur launches a 100 a million dollar fund for artists. So what the hell Russell Simmons got to do with anything? Hey, that's Negro here nor there. We just gonna keep it pushing. But that's kind of crazy. Yeah, he would even say some shit like that. Hold on, run that back a little bit. Play that. So I built this house and this is what convinced me Hold after on. finishing this to build a hotel. And then COVID hit and then there's no doubt that Mother Bali is a healing place. So this is the Snoop Dogg Villa. He was coming to visit me and then COVID hit. And then I realized he was only going to stay in my master bedroom. So I was like, oh, shit. so I built this house. Like I'm scared cuz I, man, I ain't going, I ain't sleeping nowhere else unless it's with you cuz. Oh and what you mean go to the guest house? I'm right here. I'm going to post up in your bed. I got my cookies and chips and shit because <laughs> I ain't trying to get sick cuz. Come on, Snoop, you smoking all that shit. I, I can't even get any sleep in here, man. Every other five, five seconds, you rolling up another one. Damn, cuz, I thought you said this was Bollywood, man. Know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna build a couple of hotels because you guys, you come here, you wanna eat all my food, all my vegan shit, go back to America, eat hamburgers. I know that's what you guys do. You wanna come here, be a vegan for a week, eat up all my shit, you wanna smoke all my grass. And I can't get a good night's sleep. I'm an old man. You're tripping, cuz. Right, look, man. Matter of fact, I'm just going to grab Corday and we're going to get up out of here. Who said anything about Corday going anywhere? You want the master bedrooms? Fine. I'm just going to go sleep where Corday is. You can have the room. You keep the master bedroom. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go to Corday's room and you smoke all you want. How about that? I'm going. I'm going. I'll see you in the morning. See you in the morning. In the morning, like Corday, I'm sorry, gotta stay with you tonight. Your father's tripping, he's tripping, man. He's, he's in there tripping. I'm gonna take a shower, I'm gonna get in your bed, you know. It's cold tonight, you know, so you know, someone has to be here to keep me warm. You don't want to see an old man croak on you, do you? You're gonna have to hold me tight because it's cold tonight. Said, managing Snoop Dogg's son. Like, there you go, cuz. You find yourself a baller. Oh <clears throat> Shug Knight was my first one. Then we had a falling out. Then, you know, I had to link up with Master P. He took me in. I don't know what I was gonna do if his balling ass ain't come and break me off some stacks. 
he put his son on to the game. He done went from Suge Knight. Now Master P got him paying all his bills. Get his hair done, his nails done, pay for all his jewelry. Oh my goodness. Master P took better care of him than the other No Limit soldiers. Now you don't even know that, but we was raised together. You gonna pay him more money than me? I gotta pay Snoop before I pay anybody. Uh, like top dollar with the gold flea collar. He don't linked up. Hold on, y'all. Hello, hello. Who this is here? Hello. <laughs> That did it. That's it. I'm about to order my shit right now. About to go ahead and order it because they've been teasing me for the past couple of days. I know what they want me to do. And I'm going to eat it with the chopsticks. The hell what y'all talking about? I'm about to get the, the spicy lo mein. I want them all. Oh, them chicken dump. I want them cooked just like that. Fried hard on the side. I want that. What else? <clears throat> y'all going to learn something today because them people, they think I'm playing. That's that mind control, MK Ultra. I'm about to be there in the morning. Let me show y'all something real quick. This one I'm gonna get. Eh, boom, oh, that motherfucker. They better give me a discount since they calling up here playing on the phone, man. You get that egg foo young, and they put that gravy on top of there, and Lord have mercy. Oh shit, I'm about to go. Matter of fact, we gonna have to end this early. Damn, they put the white gravy on the egg foo young. I ain't never seen them do it like that. Shit. Oh, man. I'm about to. They need to call back. Because I think at the end, they said something about a coupon on there. Oh, my goodness. Get you a dozen of duck sauce packs. But that's Negro here, no there. Y'all need to let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section, man. Do y'all feel like us is wrong for being over there? Well, Russell Simmons, or do you feel like that's a normal thing for millionaires to do? They got money, and you figure you want to hang out with other people that got money, so Usher probably ain't did nothing wrong. But this the part that creeped me out. Look at this, man. As you know, Russell lived in Bali since 2017, and he's been slammed with multiple misconduct, sexual misconduct lawsuits and allegations which he says has caused him great suffering so people coming out with they freaky russell sim he a freak he did this he did that this man on the run and for usher to be in his presence they must be on the same time of game because usher damn sure had lawsuits against him Usher was getting hit harder than Diddy, hit harder than everybody, man. He was going down bad. $20 million for a herpes lawsuit? Oh my goodness. That shit just don't go away overnight. And this is in 2017, the same time when Russell Simmons moved out to Bali. He got the hell out of Dodge. He probably set up a place for Usher. Like, I have your home here, but if you ever want to come stay, you feel free to come. You know, you know, I built it for you. Snoop Dogg has a villa here. They're talking about doing him bad. You know, he had all those bitches ain't shit, those whole songs and stuff. Oh my goodness. He got plenty of allegations. So for every entertainer out there, I built this place in Bali. If they ever want to all kill you, you can come here. I have a place you use. There's food. There's plenty of girls and women. We import them daily. You can come here and put your feet, live the rest of your life in it on a beautiful island. Shit. Usher, his only residency, not in Vegas. He got a residency in Bali. And wherever else he can't get persecuted. Hello, hello, who this is here? Just so. Hey, what's going on, bro? How you feeling? I'm feeling good, bro. 
I wasn't trying to get on the zesty talk, but I this, this is the shit that's going on, man. And it's weird, like, you know, we were never exposed to this in the 80s and the 90s. But it's like, like I say, it's coming out more and more. And it's, it, that's where we coming into, talking about these dudes and this crap that they've been up to, man. It's weird, man. I, I feel you. It's real weird, man. I don't feel right even talking about it myself, but it's just real weird, man. What these, it's like, easy, these coming out, like, see it, you know? Yeah, bro. I agree with everything you're saying. It's very, very, very weird, but I don't think it's nothing new. I think people just open to the fact that this type of stuff really exists. Yeah. Because I wanted to get in the music business, but I'm scared to get in there now. I don't want to get in it. I'm cool. <laughs> But it all depends, man. If you really got a talent, that can open up some doors without you opening up your doors. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Like cat, yeah, like cat said. <laughs> hey, do you mind spitting a little 16? Cause you said you got bars. Oh my goodness. Get a 16? Yeah, man. Oh. We want to hear them raps. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> Reggie, turn the beat up, cause he said he got some flow. Turn the beat up for him, Reggie. Yeah. Turn it up some more. Yeah, turn it up some more. Go ahead, do your thing, dog, cause you said you got skill. All right. Check it. It's your boy Gus So on the mic, and I'm doing it right. I don't care what you're saying tonight. I ain't with this dirty shit like he did it tonight. I'm on that motherfucking real shit to bring it to you straightforwardly and tell you just like Chad Williams, nigga, this shit is fucked up. Can't you see? Look deep within and you will find what's within. These motherfuckers been hiding this shit for years, but they put it right in front of our face. It's right in your face. Can't you see motherfucking dust goes in the place, dropping the real, not the fake, and let you see what is going on in this world today. Wake your eyes up and see, man, we ain't got that much time left. Bruh. I just don't understand how in the hell you ain't got no record deal, man. Rapping like that, they need to have you at the NBA All-Stars or something, cause shit, you one of a kind, bro. Gusto, you don't came up in here and on set the show on fire. I'm jealous. And that's the only reason why I'm ready to get up off the phone, man. You can't be outshining the mask. You don't came up here. Now all my girls in the comment section talking about Gusto, Gusto. You know I can't have that, man. I appreciate you. And the next time I go live, you can call back then when you cool off or something, man. You hot to death. I will not abide it. I can't have it on the show. We appreciate you so much, man. We gonna holla at you later. Yeah. That boy Gusto don't got on that mic and left that motherfucker smoking. Oh I ain't never heard nobody rapping like that. He might as well be the newest member of Bone Thugs and Harmony or something. Oh my goodness. Hot like lava. That's gonna be his album cover. He gonna be on there with a big old chain that say Gusto sitting on the volcano with lava coming out his ears. That's Negro here no there, man. Y'all got to let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section. It's all alleged allegations. Usher probably ain't go over there and get that man his yams. But it sure looked like he did. And for the people that hit that cash app, let me show y'all some love real quick. Because I got plenty of love for every last one of y'all, man. I'm talking about Ty Harris. Hit that cash app. And showed me so much love. Thank you so much, brother. Along with the beautiful Grace and Elaine Brown. Whoever you are, wherever you are. I got to let you know, Elaine, I love you to death. And I want to thank you so much for that cash app. It means so much to me. The homie Demetrius Bright. I know you're doing all right, man. And you always going to be doing all right. Thank you so much. Nashika Clay. Hit that cash app and show me nothing but love. I love you too, sister. Lauren Gammon, how you feeling? And thank you so much. And to the beautiful, humble Walters, I want to thank you so much, baby. Where you at? I hope you somewhere safe, man. All the people that hit that cash app, I ain't got nothing but love for y'all. And I'ma holla at y'all on the next video. Subscribe to my channel if that's what you want. Subscribe to my channel if that's what you want. But if that's not what you like, then you must be a punk. Hold on now.